Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage. We're doing just a little bonus video today for you guys like we've been dropping in randomly. So sometimes we go on little adventures. We don't know how the filming's gonna go with these little trips and sometimes I'm just not able to film or the situation doesn't allow for it or it just doesn't look good. So I recently went out to uh, to Delaware to hang out with my buddy Ben Selman. You may remember he did the uh, the lettering on the free tee, which is really awesome. Ben and I have become pretty good friends. There is an estate out near him where I picked a couple years ago and I got some really neat stuff. Uh, and the owner who has now passed away had a uh, cover car from Hot Rod Magazine that had an injected Hemi in it that he restored. Uh, he had like a 27T Roadster that was like an old hot rod with a flathead in it and a fixed in high rise on it that was really cool. Bunch of parts. I bought a ton of stuff. Fast forward, the wife decided to have an auction to just blow everything out and I decided to make a couple days of it and drive down to visit with Ben, walk around, check out some shops and some different stuff and then uh, try and buy some stuff at this auction. So I bought a Hemi, not planning on it. So I was at the auction to buy some other stuff and I bought Hemi stuff. There's a bunch here on the ground. We also bought a bunch of flathead stuff. There's a little bit left over here like these Wyan heads and some different stuff that Ben and I found. Um, along the way, which was really great. So this is some of the extra stuff. And well, what, like, what do you got? So there's a 331 block here, Chrysler. There is a bunch of rocker assemblies, valley pans or valley covers. Um, there's an old ISKI cam. There is some injections, some magnesium injection stuff. So this is kind of foreshadowing here. So if you guys follow him, our, uh, our Instagram, I kind of gave it away, but there's this. There's one of these double clutches that was brand new. So um, and then there's a bunch of these crazy like Mickey Thompson rods, some oil other pans. oil pans, whatever. But the main thing that I bought when I was at the auction, I just assumed I wasn't gonna be able to afford the stuff or I wasn't gonna be able to buy it. I had no intention to buy that stuff. Surprise. I was there for some other stuff. Like always happens to me, I'm standing there and the bidding stalled for like pretty affordable. And I'm like, really, really? Okay, I guess. Next thing I know, I own a bunch of Hemi stuff. Well. This is the uh, main thing. You already see I started like kind of pushing it over to the keeper side of the shop. So this is a blown, uh, what the owner was gathering was a bunch of blown Hemi stuff. So I think maybe what he was doing was that Roadster, he actually specced it out with the cage and everything to modern safety regulations. So he could run it at Bonneville, run it at the drags competitively and it had an injected Hemi. I think he was putting together stuff to put together a blown Hemi to maybe change the engine out and, and race in different classes. So we have a 671 big port blower. There is an old polished blower intake that's on top of here. Uh, there is a polished is, valley pan. Yeah, there's, uh, it's just a piece of aluminum somebody cut, but there's a Delta uh, timing cover that's set up for injection and also has the uh, bearing supported crank snout area has an actual heavy ball bearing set up in it. You sound very versed in Hemi stuff all of a sudden. <laughs> I learned it all kind of after, well I knew what the stuff sort of was but after I bought it I, I learned. So what what it was is this, well actually what happened is there's a Auburn dash up there and that's what I was after. So the Auburn dash was like sitting next to or on top of the Hemi and that's what I was standing there waiting to bid on like all day. That was the one thing I really wanted. And I won that for like really cheap. I won't make you guys sick. Uh, nobody knew what it was. So I bought that and then this went up next to it. So I didn't even really look at this engine because I just assumed I wasn't gonna win it. And uh, like I said, the bidding went pretty low and it stalled. And I thought just the intake and the blower was worth basically what it was at for bidding. Once I won the auction, or actually in the middle of them bidding, I put my hand up one time. I walked over and like was like, is this included? And I took the top off of it and it was filled with a YN fin timing cover with the extension, whoop, with the extension snout for the, for the injection pump. This is the Delta one, bunch of the pulleys. Oh, there's the YN one there. Yeah, the YN one's there, snout for the, for the blower. Um, this is just a bracket for Tensioner. Yeah, for the tensioner off of there, came with the belt, and then it has a stock crank pulley that was modified. So, I got all this stuff was with it. And, and, that's when, and all that stuff back there? No, I bought that stuff separately at the end of the day in the auction. It was like, they, they got all the stuff, and at the end of the day, it was like everybody was tired. It was like 90 some degrees, we're all wearing masks. And uh, they had pallet loads of stuff, and the auctioneer was still kind of like piecing out like one set of rocker assemblies, like choice, and I just was like, 
made an offer on the whole pallet and then he started bidding on the pallet. So I bought two pallets worth of stuff. So I bought the engine. Once I bought all that, I was like, well, I bought the Hemi engine with the blower. While we're in France. Buy all the other stuff. So I got all this stuff. It's super cool. I'm not super into Hemis, but the more I have something, the more I start thinking of stupid ideas. What and, have you been sending us all week? Yeah, like blown Hemi willies, like over and over and over again. <laughs> so I don't have the money to buy a buy a steel Hemi or steel willies right now, but never know. But the other thing I was thinking about is, so what I tried to do, because I'm trying to keep myself under control, is I put all this stuff up as one lot to sell it for one whole price. I bought the stuff right, so I have a bunch of wiggle room. So if somebody is looking to build a Hemi, like blown Hemi project, there's a lot of stuff here, an extra block. I, I priced out all the stuff and it's like, I'm considerably less than that. So if somebody wants it, great. I'll, I'd love to see it go in somebody's hands. If I can make a few bucks, I'm happy in the end of the day and that's it. If not, and everybody's like, doesn't want to build it, then I'm going to hold on to this engine. It's already on the keeper side, man. I, I already pushed it over. Uh, that like really cheap in the trailer, 32 that's hiding in there, that could be pretty darn cool. It's like a 60s style drag race car with like uh, like blue plexiglass windows and yeah. Keep yeah. going, yes. The, the, yes. With the wacky roof that's the, oh, that's the true, roof insert. Yeah. Like it could be a really cool car. So. Yeah, we don't know, but don't, have the end. Don't buy it. Yeah. Don't buy it. So anyways, I half-heartedly put it up for sale. Uh, worst case scenario, I'm going to sell off all the extra stock stuff that I have, like five or ten sets of rocker assemblies, and just sell some of that stuff. And then we'll have the engine left over. And like I always do, I buy the stuff right. So if I sell all those extra parts, I'll basically pay for everything, and I'll have myself like a free blown Hemi. Is there anything done to the internals, do you know? No, so it's a stock 354 Chrysler. It's 40 over. I measured it. I took the heads off. Uh, the heads were all taken apart, like the valve train assembly was taken out, and you could see that it was like cleaned, like somebody was going through and checking it. The block is basically stock from what I can tell. Like I said, I measured it. It's 40 over from stock, so it's not like it's been, it doesn't have like crazy doomed pistons or anything like that. So I think this is basically a stock block, and this is all the stuff he was gathering. Maybe he bought like a blown up injected or, or blown hemi and this is the leftover stuff uh, the blower does turn i just need a front cover for it if i'm going to keep it i'm already talking like that um, but anyways this is the fun of this stuff you go hunting for stuff you come home with things when it's like cheaper than expected if you buy in bulk you can usually uh, keep yourself out of trouble with money wise so you could sell stuff and you get the free thing that you want so that's or a free thing you really didn't want free thing you didn't want but <laughs> I mean, really, who doesn't want a blown Hemi sitting in the garage? So, anyways, got this. Really fun. Uh, we're going to drop in some clips in the video here after this me rambling. Uh, we went to traditional Metalcraft to visit with Cody. Cody is a super talented fabricator. He is building an amazing cha hard channel 32.3 window. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Cody's work. And uh, we got to walk around his shop. He showed us some of his projects. Got to check out the 32, which is amazing. We're going to drop some of that footage in. And, oh, yeah, I got a tattoo. I got Ben also does tattoo work. Yeah, Ben tattooed me. Uh, he, we were we met at the shop and he was like, hey, you want a tattoo? Okay. So that was my weekend in a condensed, not so condensed version. Uh, thank you guys for this little bonus thing. If you are interested in some Hemi stuff, send us an email. I'm happy to talk about it. I'd love to see this go on a project because I may not use it for quite a while. So thank you guys for watching. Enjoy my madness. See you.